How's it going? Happy uh, Meerschaum Monday. I don't know if anybody still does the Meerschaum Monday thing. Um, I think Happy Smoking 100, he would do a Meerschaum Monday thing. Um, of course, I'm smoking my only Meerschaum pipe, my uh, custom Lord of the Rings Servi Meerschaum, courtesy of Miss Skeeter, Big Jake. And I am smoking some American Delight. It's delightfully American. <laughs> but it's made in England, so I don't know how they can call it American Delight. Maybe they should call it English Delight. Oh man, had a long work day today. Worked 12 hours today. Um, I was doing what we call uh, trailer shuttles, where I would take empties or loaded trailers from one location to another, and from that other location, usually uh, a loaded trailer back to the first location. Um, but it's only like, the location's only like, hmm. I don't know, eight miles apart or ten miles apart or something like that. All right, did that for a long time today. So that was pretty good. I haven't smoked uh, this Meerschaum enough uh, for it to start like coloring yet, so maybe I should smoke it more to get that. Uh, patina, I think they call it a patina, get that patina going. I like there's an ice cream truck on my street, I don't know if you can hear it. Get your ice cream. <laughs> went to my very first pipe club meeting. I finally got to go to a pipe club meeting and it was great. Uh, I went to the Los Angeles Pipe Club and they meet at a, a really small pipe tobacco place called the Briar Hound Tobacco. I don't know if it's the Briar Hound, Hound Tobacco or the Briar Hound Tobacco Company. Um, but it's kind of in downtown Pasadena. Uh, the entrance is kind of in this little alley. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I tried to take a video, but for some reason my phone wasn't, uh, it wasn't focusing for some reason. I don't know why. So I took a picture, um, and I've never put a picture on a YouTube video before, so I'm going to try to insert a picture, like right here. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to get the picture in. Um, if not, just take my word for it, I was there. <laughs> Anyways, I met some uh, some great guys. Um, uh, a guy named Andy, um, Scott, George, Dean, Justin. Um, four out of five of those guys um, are on YouTube. I'll put their links to their channels in the description. So check them out. Uh, let's see. Well, Justin um, is uh, Justin space Figueroa and then George he's roof Piper that's one word roof Piper um, he calls himself roof Piper because he's uh, he does AC units and stuff so he's on roofs a lot and I guess he smokes on that roof so that's roof Piper and then Scott is SoCal Pipester I believe uh, if I'm wrong I'll have the correct <laughs> the correct link below But yeah, the meeting was cool. Uh, it was fun smoking. You know, it's funny. It was my first time actually smoking a pipe with other people. Because since I've been smoking a pipe for a little over a year, I've only smoked a pipe by myself. Because I don't know any other pipe smokers. 
um, especially here in Southern California where not a whole lot of uh, piping going on unless it's the illegal kind of piping. <laughs> So that was really cool. Um, I took some cookies for everybody to share and um, some guys brought some beer. And uh, this one guy I met named David, really cool guy, he's in the army. He brought uh, some homemade mead. Uh, I don't know if any of you out there know what mead is. I found out what mead is. Mead is kind of a wine made out of honey. Um, I didn't try any because I'm not much of a wine person. Um, but it's pretty strong. I think he said it was like 14 point something percent alcohol. Um, but yeah, the meeting was fun. You know, the place was smaller than I thought it was because I watched some videos uh, of the Pipe Club on you know, previous meetings and stuff. So, um, But it was cool. I look forward to the next meeting. It's once a month. Um, next meeting, I'll try to take a little bit, little video and show all you guys and gals out there. Weather's been pretty nice here. Uh, my apologies to all you pipers that are in the snow and the cold. It's been like uh, mid 70s almost here in SoCal. Um, but of course we got a drought and all that stuff, so we could use the rain. And I like I like the cooler weather myself. I'm kind of hot blooded. <laughs> yeah. I heard you're not supposed to hold a meerschaum pipe by the bowl, but how else are you going to hold it like this? <laughs> I don't think I'll hurt it. Yes, yeah, American Delight's pretty good stuff. Um, did a review on it. Go check out my review. I'll put a link to it in the comments. I mean, not the comments, in the description. Duh. Made in England, England, England. Mature Sweet Virginia's Burleys and Cavendish. Top note of vanilla, caramel, fresh fruits. Pretty good aromatic. I look forward to this thing uh, changing colors and stuff. That should be fun. Man, it's amazing the the talent and the craftsmanship these pipe carvers have. Man, I don't think I could ever do anything like this. I don't even think I could make a briar pipe if I wanted to. Oh, well, what else is cool about the Pipe Club is I got some samples from Scott, SoCal Pipester. Um, he gave me a sample of Shortcut to Mushrooms, which I hear a lot of good stuff about. I tried some. It's pretty good. Um, I'm not into Latakia, as most of you know, um, but I'm trying to expand my tastes a little bit. Um, it was okay. It was pretty good. Not, not really heavy in the Latakia department. He also gave me uh, some Sleepy Hollow. I think it's from Strauss. Tobacconist, I think I've heard of him from Sleepy Hollow, and then he gave me, uh, well, he knew I wanted to try some Dunhill Elizabethan mixture. Um, I think he said he didn't have a whole lot of that left, so he combined it with some Brigham Acadian, I think it's Acadian Perique or Acadian blend, and it's actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. It's kind of a vapor. I guess the Elizabethan mixture and the Acadian blends are vapors, Virginia Perique. So it was pretty good. Came out pretty good. I'll do some reviews on some of these samples soon. I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> you probably don't want to sit there and watch me smoke.
It's actually my first pipe smoke today. I was trying to give my tongue a break because I smoked three bowls in a row um, at the pipe club meeting, which is the most I've smoked at one time. Um, well, the first two bowls were kind of one right after the other, and then the other one I think I waited 30 minutes and smoked the last one. But So I want to give my tongue a break. Um, so... And I figured I'd go easy on it by smoking an aromatic. Too much air movement in here. I don't know if you can hear the fan. I got a fan over here. Just to kind of suck the smoke out of the man cave so it doesn't get all smoggy and hazy in here. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how long this video has gone on for, but, um, and that stem is really cool. I like that, uh, kind of orange swirl, fire swirl kind of stem. This pipe's cool, man. <clears throat> it was neat, uh, being able to design my own pipe. Anywho, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. You know, for an aromatic, this stuff stays lit pretty well. It's kind of moist in the tin, but it stays lit pretty good. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks to all my subscribers. Don't forget my 500 subscribers contest ends this Friday. You know, speaking of my contest, um, I was talking to one of the guys at the pipe club. And I was kind of talking about my contest and stuff. And, you know, I was thinking, you know, the rules for the contest, you know, you got to be a subscriber and everything. But sometimes, you know, we get, I'm sure uh, those of other pipe smokers out there on YouTube, you guys that and ladies that have done um, contests, you know, you get entries from people that you've never heard of or are fairly new to YouTube. And, I mean, that's cool and everything, but but then, you know, these people, they have no profile picture and they have no videos. You know, I'm thinking if I ever do a contest in the future, future contests... I'm thinking, you know, you got to be a subscriber, but you have to have a profile picture. So I know you're not like some 15-year-old trying to get a pipe and some tobacco. And at least one video, you know, a profile picture one video so, you know, I can see who you are. You know, see that you're over 18. Um, I don't know. I guess, you know, to be on the safe side, so, you know, I'm not contributing to minor smoking. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, happy smoking everybody. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for subscribing, thanks for thumbs ups. Thumbs ups. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, God bless you. Catch you later.